Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing an update for my other year-long project pan, my 9pan 19. If you missed the intro to this project and have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll throw the intro up in the card so you can kind of catch up. You only have one intro to catch up on, so it should be fairly quick. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and jump into the update. So I have two products, as you should know by now, one blush trio and then my Kat Von D shade and light palette. I've actually made so much progress on the Kat Von D. Let me go ahead and show you a close up. So this is where we're at right now with the Kat Von D. I was able to expand the pan on this a ton compared to my intro. And I've been using this shade a little bit, but really I'm focusing on getting this one completely used up before I really go in and use this one. This middle shade right here, I've actually been using every day as a bronzer. Every day. <laughs> and I'm gonna see, I don't know if I can really show you without popping the pan itself out, but there is a huge dip. Let me see, can we do, no, it's not gonna work. There's a huge dip in this product right here. It does go way down. I can see the edge of the pan. <gasps> oh, right there, can we do that? Can you see the edge of that pan? <laughs> so there is a huge dip in here. I think I could probably hit pan on it by the end of February, early March, if I still use it every day as a bronzer. Um, and then I've been using this darkest shade as a contour every day. I mean, that one, there isn't as much progress, but I have been using both of these every day. I haven't touched this shade over here pretty much at all because it is very similar to the shade I've been using every day for my bronzer. So I figured I would at least hit pan on this one first, before I went over to work on that shade. And then this one I can really only use as a contour. It's too dark to use as a bronzer. So that's what I'm gonna be using it as until <laughs> until the end of time. So for the purpose of this update, I did pop everything back into this palette, but it is very easy to depot all of these single shades right there. So I have been popping out the ones I'm using every day and keeping them in a Z palette along with another face powder that I'm using that is right here on my vanity. So that's how I've been able to reach for it every day and really get full use out of those. So for each update, I will pop them back in in their original spots just to make the updates a little bit easier. But just so you know, that's how I'm actually using them day in and day out is by popping them into a Z palette. So my second product, the last three pans I'm working on is the Blush Trio from ABH in Peachy Love. Now this one, far away, you can barely see any difference. Again, I've been using this as a blush every day, <laughs> but I see a little bit of wear on like the lighter two shades, but that's about it. So let me show you a close up. This is what we are currently looking at. As you can see, there are like some brush strokes and some wear on the lighter two shades on the end. Not really a whole lot though. This project is really making me realize like how long it takes to actually use a blush. <laughs> but one thing I have found out using this product is that I really like the way this applies better with a duo fiber brush. I was using a regular big fluffy brush to put this on and it, it kind of looked a little bit patchy sometimes. It wouldn't apply the way that I wanted, but I find if I use a duo fiber brush and really swirl all the colors together and put it on, I get the most beautiful application ever. Though with a duo fiber brush, I do tend to see some kick up, whereas with a regular brush, I don't see as much kick up. So I really think those bristles are getting in there and getting the product and then distributing it a lot more evenly on my face. So I've been solely using a duo fiber brush when applying this blush. Oh my god, I said all those words correctly. <laughs> so I'm so glad that I gave myself a full year to use this. I'm, I'm thinking maybe that's ambitious. Maybe, but I do have a full year and this is only January. Like I've got plenty of time to go through and use this product. And I never, I actually don't know how deep the pans are in here. They could be very shallow. I don't know. I won't know until I get deep enough to actually find out, <laughs> but I'm going to keep working at it. I'm glad I picked these shades because they look great no matter what look I have on, which is exactly what I was going for, for an everyday blush. So those are my updates for my 9pan 19. Let me know down below if you're doing any other year-long project pans. If you missed my pen that palette update, which should have gone up the day before this one, I'll throw it up in the cards if you do want to catch that as well. I try to do all of my long-term project pan updates within the first-ish week of each month. So there should be quite a few updates going up between the next few days. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope if you liked this video, you'll give it a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.